What's up guys, welcome to this new video and today I'm going to give you what's to me the best stack to launch a SaaS platform in 2024. Let's jump right into it. Before to get started, I will tell you that in this video, we won't only go over technical products, but we'll also cover some business products like emailing platforms. The reason of that is if you're building a SaaS and if you really want to make money with it, you don't only need to code, but you also need to achieve a lot of marketing tasks. That being said, let's start with the first tool, which is a coding framework. So for this first one, I will talk about Next.js. So I know there are many frameworks out there. Uh, I personally love Svelte.js, for example. You may also love another framework or even another language than JavaScript. So maybe you are a PHP developer and that's totally fine. But if I had to build a new SaaS in 2024, and in fact I do because I build a SaaS every week. So for those SaaS, I always go with Next.js. The reason of that is is Next.js has a huge community and you will most likely find packages and everything that you need to code uh, faster with this framework compared to another framework like uh, Svet.js, which I love, but where the community is smaller and the available packages are fewer. Another good thing about Next.js is you'll find many website templates, so you will be able to to build your SaaS and also your website uh, in a SEO friendly manner. And the last thing I love with Next.js is Next Actions. So I used to build the SaaS platform with a front end separated from my back end. So before I was using something like Svelte uh, for the front end and you know Next.js for the back end, and I had to deploy them separately. But today with uh, the Next Actions, you can build your back end and and your front end uh, at the same place and you can just trigger your back end actions using your front end code uh, using the same code base and that's very powerful so for all those reasons i will definitely go for next.js the other tool i wanted to talk about uh, which is also very famous is stripe I wanted to showcase Stripe because I often hear developers who still want to develop their own payment solution. You know, they often want to integrate the system provided by their bank or something like that. And this is just crazy. Not only is Stripe super reliable and available worldwide, but it will also provide so many features that it's a go-to for me when I build a SaaS. So if you want to build a SaaS, you definitely have to process your payment using Stripe. The next tool I love to use is Firebase. And I know here there is a strong debate opposing Firebase and Supabase. And in fact, you know, both tools are great, but I've been personally using Firebase for years now and I just love the experience for the developers. What I love the most with Firebase is the ease of development and the way it natively integrates with Google Cloud Platform, which is a platform that I love for building more advanced SaaS. So be careful here. I'm not saying you must deploy your SaaS on Google Cloud Platform, especially because we'll talk about another solution, especially if you want to launch fast and you don't have any experience with it. However, I'm an experienced developer and I'm used to launch complex solutions on Google Cloud Platform and I love the ease of development this platform offers. So I really like uh, being able to use a tool like Firebase, which integrates very easily with Google Cloud Platform. Although I don't use the Firebase authentication anymore, but I still use the storage, the Firestore database, which I love, uh, and so other features they provide. Uh, so yeah, to me, Firebase is a go-to solution, but you know, if you're more familiar with Supabase and if you like it most, Go for it. The other tool I wanted to talk about is Cobol. So here you have to know I'm biased because I'm the founder of Cobol. But if you don't know Cobol yet, Cobol is a SaaS platform that allows you to add authentication, 
permissions and monetization in minutes uh, to your SaaS platform. So it integrates well with uh, the stack I just uh, presented to you. So it has an XJS SDK. You can use it uh, with uh, Superbase or Firebase, and you can also connect your Stripe account to it. The main strength of COBOL is it provides a nice SDK for Next.js and React, and you can you know manage your user state and user permissions, user codas, and usage directly uh, using the COBOL platform. So if you want to launch your SaaS faster, I definitely recommend using COBOL. Now let's start talking about other tools that are not related to programming. And the first one will be Crisp. So Crisp is a solution that helps you to add this small chat box on the right bottom of your screen, on your website or on your application. It also includes a CRM that will help you to track your users and to chat with them in real time or even to send them some email campaigns. This is useful, for example, if you want to send an email to your users, you know, one or two days after they subscribed, uh, even though you can do it with Kobo as well. Uh, but, you know, it's very helpful uh, on a daily basis to communicate with your users and to provide some support. Some of you may prefer Intercom, which is a competitor of them, but I personally like most Crisp, which I believe is simpler and also cheaper than Intercom. So for small SaaS uh, and small team, Crisp is definitely the go-to solution for me. Now, let's talk about Lemlist. So if you want to launch a SaaS, uh, you have to think about your growth strategy. One of them could be to send cold messages or cold email to targeted people. And Lemlist is the right tool to do it. With Lemlist, you'll be able to import contacts from CSV and create various audience. And then you'll be able to craft some nice emailing scenarios to reach out to your audience. Obviously, you also access some statistics like your open rate and your click rate and many things like that. And you'll be able to use some add-on like Lemwarm to warm up your email. So you sure your emails don't go to the spam folder. So when it comes to emailing, Lemlist is definitely the solution I would go for. And last but not least, and okay, this is not a marketing tool, this is a technical tool that you may know, uh, Versal. Versal allows you to deploy any SaaS, especially if you're using Next.js, in one click. So I told you before, I really love a Google Cloud platform for really advanced usage. However, if you're building a simple SaaS with Next.js, the easiest way to deploy it is most likely to use Versal. You just have to provide your Git repository and Versal will configure the pipeline to deploy it on every commit. So you won't even have to do it. Another good thing about Versal, but you know, it's not different from Google Cloud is it has an extended free pricing. So so you can launch your SaaS for free and you know it won't cost you anything for a while. And that's all for today guys. That's everything for this tech stack list. Those tools are the tools I'm using on a daily basis to launch every new SaaS and I really believe it's the best tech stack to launch a SaaS in 2024. But again this is also biased by my personal and professional experience so maybe you are more familiar with uh, some you know competitors or some other tools and if that's the case, feel free to use them. I reckon the most important thing is you use the tool you're familiar with and you enjoy working with. And that's the case for me with the stack I presented to you. So that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to view more and feel free to leave a comment to let me know if you like this stack or if maybe you like to use other tools uh, or any additional tool uh, I haven't talked about. Don't forget to smash the like button and keep shipping guys. Bye.